Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Thursday, the 25th of July 2019. So, uh, headlines for today, stocks, bonds and silver saw as traders bet on ECB shock and or whatever it takes. And what do we mean by this? Let's just cover this. Well, today we've got um, the ECB press conference and uh, we've also got uh, the rate main financing rate and what's interesting here is when you look at this chart you can see that uh, Europe is a financial basket case as is most other areas but uh, you can see here how long the rates have been zero but as the article says uh, here let me just look at the headline inside it says ugly European PMIs uh, uh, to cement the confidence for a big uh, one whale that Draghi or Lagarde will signal tomorrow a willingness to deliver shock and awe with more rate cuts, buying yards and yards of December Eurobor futures. It's an absolute uh, unmitigated disaster, but they're going to do everything they can to keep uh, this, and this is going to go uh, negative, whether it's uh, today or not, who knows, but uh, this is going to uh, switch. You can see that uh, it's never been really that high, but uh, even so, um, you've got a situation where uh, at the moment uh, it's uh, a mess there you go you can see the the full picture there back so we started around uh, five percent just under five percent so when all this started in 1998 and now we're heading to negative so the longer term picture speaks uh, volumes and uh, yesterday uh, talking of uh, the reason behind this, the German manufacturing figures came out yesterday, 43.1. As it said on Zero Hedge, these are cratering. A uh, great way of putting it. And you can see here that uh, Germany heading for recession here as far as the manufacturing sector is concerned as well. And uh, also uh, news uh, yesterday, Deutsche Bank uh, tumbles as trading revenues plummet. So things are getting worse for Deutsche Bank. However, uh, the genius or whatever's behind this, and I'm, I, as you know, I'm skeptical about this. Something isn't right here. Uh, this should be falling apart. Somebody supporting this market. You can see how it bounced back yesterday following the uh, dire results. Uh, we had the earnings out, you can see that. And yet the market uh, moves higher. A billion dollars a day being pulled out, 18,000 jobs on the line, and uh, the market goes up and uh, falling revenues uh, for the last goodness knows how many years. So it has to be being uh, manipulated as far as uh, I'm concerned. Okay, let's have a look at uh, the market's reaction to all of these things. We'll start off with the Dow yesterday. This is still sideways, so waiting for uh, Powell on Wednesday next. And you can see that it's uh, trading at the 76% retracement at the moment intraday very quiet after the initial uh, reaction uh, market below the 200 bar moving average and staying there until uh, the close and then on the overnight uh, prices have managed to uh, move above this and are at the moment uh, still on the right side of this like i say but uh, when you look at the detail, 27.319 is the 76% retracement for this market. Meanwhile, uh, yesterday in the pound, this also uh, moving higher as the uh, parliament uh, waited for May's final battle with Corbyn. Uh, you can see there the market closing above the 200 bar moving average after failing to move to the downside. And uh, let the fun begin now. Um, it's going to be riots and all sorts, in my opinion. And uh, this is going to impact on the pound as well uh, going forward. No doubts about that, uh, given already what's come out, that it's all Brexiteers on his uh, front bench. Uh, it's uh, going to be interesting. He already uh, had uh, protesters blocking the mall yesterday as he went to uh, meet the Queen. So expect more of that the Antifa style rebellion and whatever. So yeah, you can see the pound uh, sideways there as well. And in uh, Bitcoin, uh, coming back yesterday, but very, very quiet. The volatility 
has uh, dropped off in this market uh, as you can see a four hour chart looking a bit better but in the 15 minute yesterday it was uh, very very quiet we had the one buy signal then it became sideways until they had a shakeout and then the market managed to reverse so what uh, this is saying here is wait for this type of price action and then you will get uh, the big boys coming back in to bring the market back uh, we're going through this consolidation phase now in the smaller time frame uh, look at the bigger time frames until uh, it uh, starts to uh, increase uh, once more but at the moment it's uh, gone very quiet on the bitcoin front so uh, again just uh, take uh, note of this and then uh, finally uh, 10 year uh, same as uh, Tuesday for Wednesday 0 0.2 uh, on the positive side normal there and uh, on the implied volatility that's the one we're after 11.20 dropping from uh, 11.36 below the average there but above the average here so the market is still in the upside trajectory at the moment according to how the options are actually being priced there. Okay, that will uh, do it uh, for this one. Uh, there's not a lot else to report. Say the market's waiting for Powell uh, this next uh, Wednesday. We'll see what uh, the ECB do at uh, lunchtime and Lagarde takes over in the next uh, few weeks or so anyway. So, uh, And she's already threatened to print three trillion to keep uh, Europe afloat as well. So let's see uh, what the ECB do with rates at uh, midday. And with that, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.